I mean, everybody has that friend who's really good at every type of game, and it feels like no matter what that friend plays, he's the best at it in your super circle of friends. But to be that good at the professional level across multiple titles is almost unheard of. Pretty much in any game that I ever played, if there was a leaderboard, I would be grinding uh, for like a top spot. I'm able to go into these different genres and, you know, see if I can take on these guys at their game or, you know, these guys at their genre or whatever. My first serious game was like probably Dota 2. I was still in high school at the time. I was playing with a lot of big names in Dota 2. Uh, I was on a team with like Eternal MB, S4, Admiral Bulldog, you know, Black, big names. But I had gotten into UCLA um, for the following year. So I kind of actually took a step back from Dota and decided to pursue college instead because I didn't really know how much of a future esports had and they ended up winning TI that year. When they won TI and I was in college, I felt a bit regrettable. I was like, that could have been me. You know, I was, I was right there. And then uh, I stepped away. My brother actually introduced me to uh, the Blizzard MOBA, Heroes of the Storm. And I was kind of just playing it on the side for fun. Not really expecting anything of it, but I like rose to the top of the leaderboards and I found myself competing on the side. And then before you know it, I qualified for BlizzCon Worlds. And I was like, okay, well, now I got to make a decision. Like, do I want to take this full time um, or do I not? And I ended up dropping out of school. He played in six North American regional championships to qualify either for the mid-season tournament or BlizzCon, which was the world finals. And he got at least to semis in every single one. He won North American regionals four of the six uh, he played in and made at least top four in, in every one that he played in as well. He had a really good mind for the game. He kept winning and he didn't retire until, you know, late in Heroes of the Storm in 2018. When he decided he wanted to go to Fortnite, I think a lot of people really wanted to criticize him in the Heroes community because it felt like Heroes was on the decline popularity wise and it felt like a cash grab to a lot of people i think a lot of people were disappointed in him because they liked him so much i think a lot of people turned their back on him because they felt like he turned his back on them so i was already playing fortnite a bit on the side for fun uh, my friends introduced me to the game i found it you know pretty entertaining and then uh they actually made an announcement that they were going to invest a hundred million dollars into the next year of their esports uh, competitive scene and, you know, coming from like smaller game in Heroes, who was kind of maybe on uh, its last legs, to be honest, I thought it was a good time to make that switch and really go after the opportunity. And if he wanted to just keep playing Heroes and winning the money that he could make from winning America than losing in BlizzCon, you know, I mean, he could do that, but he wanted more. As like a professional gamer, you don't got that many years. And um, during this time, I'm not... I gave up my education, you know, I'm giving up other opportunities. I'm giving up my twenties. And so I'm going to make the best of these years and, you know, try to set myself up, set my family up, set my future up. This is the Fortnite World Cup Finals. The battle bus is loaded. Here we go. We have to understand, right? It was 100 of the best damn Fortnite players in the world, right? Like that's just a, that's just a fact. Waking up that morning, I felt oddly confident, like weirdly confident uh, that I was going to place top 10. The victory royale goes to the veteran, Som. Som now jumps in to second place. When I got that first win in, in game four, I was like, you know, there's a photo of me. I'm like screaming at the camera. I'm so hyped up. And then after they tallied up all the points after game six, I saw I was in second and I was like, <laughs> there was no way. And I just, I was like, I was screaming and running back on the stage. What was really shocking was the fact that he managed to to come in second in, in, in the largest event, which was the solos competition. I think a lot of people just didn't 
really see that one coming, my, myself included. I don't think anyone had me top 10. I don't, I don't even think I had myself top 10 before that day. Psalm, the second place finisher in the Fortnite World Cup, winning over a million dollars in prizes in Fortnite, has decided he is done with the game and moving on to Valorant. I think a lot of people were blown away that a guy who walked away with $1.8 million in the largest prize pool in Fortnite and maybe even esports history is still trying to compete at a high level in a game that is in a completely different genre than what he just competed in. In Valorant, uh, I have a lot of catching up to do because, you know, you got CS guys coming over with 10, 20,000 hours of CS play. You know, some people even more. And I've got like, I've got like 500 hours of CSGO matchmaking, you know, and half of those were probably idle hours. Um, but, you know, I, I actually think I'm right there. If you want to think about a player that you want on that stage to play under pressure, I would bet my money on Psalm every single time because the man managed to do it in, in an insane scenario. Going from Fortnite now to Valorant, I've had plenty of people say, hey, like, you're a Fortnite player, you know, you you build and edit. There's no way you can compete with these CS guys. And, you know, here I am. Oh, nice. Get off my sight. Get off my sight. Oh. Last was bad. Get off of my bomb site. I want to become a top name in the scene. I want to make worlds and I want to, I want to win in NA and have a good showing at worlds. He may not be like a CS, you know, uh, MDL or, or ESL player or whatever. He may not be one of those players. It's perfectly fine. But let me tell you, the guy's, guy's a beast. And if you, if you sleep on him, he'll wake you up.